Well, I had an incident. They're calling it a stroke, but I was perfectly normal the day of the incident. I had a neurological incident with stroke-like symptoms, like my, right, my left foot was getting in the way and I fell. When this happened, it was a complete surprise because Dr. Horton had just did an ablation and put me back in rhythm. I've been AFib, was diagnosed in 2007. Mr. Klein came to me a couple of years ago. He was having a problem with atrial rhythms, atrial fibrillation, which is a very common heart rhythm problem. Uh, we um, performed an ablation on him. This was uh, probably two years ago. And he's done very well from an AFib standpoint. However, his, uh, he had a type of AFib uh, where some of the triggers were actually coming from his appendage. Uh, he's a fairly unusual case where he was compliant, he was taking his blood thinners, and in spite of all of those things, he actually had a stroke. So we don't know really what's going on. And I hope by the watchman, implanting the watchman, that it will keep me from having other, other strokes. Uh, watchman is a novel new mechanical closure of the left atrial appendage. Uh, when patients have atrial fibrillation, which is a very common rhythm problem, they can have symptoms from it, but the biggest issue that they have is the risk of stroke. The reason they're at risk for stroke is their left atrial appendage. So if it were closed, then the patients would literally have no reason to worry about strokes. Uh, I tell patients that it looks a little bit like a birdcage, sort of in the shape of an acorn, and it springs open. It's sort of a self-expanding uh, device that has tiny barbs that are pointed outward from it. So as it opens up, the barbs connect with the muscle and hold it in place. That after about six months, it's as though you never had that opening for the appendage, and so you no longer have a risk of stroke from that area. He was a, a case where if we didn't do something different, uh, his likelihood of having another stroke would be very high. Dr. Horton is very enthusiastic about this, and the fact that he was in on the trials, I'll try it. I do not want to have another incident. I want as much of my old life back as I can get back. After six weeks, uh, Mr. Klein will get an esophageal echo, prove that the device is still in place, it's still sealed. At that point, he can come off of the warfarin permanently. He will have to go on Plavix for six months as the healing process is completed. And then he just needs to take aspirin. After that, he's done. A lot of patients come from really all over the U.S. because uh, we are at the leading uh, edge of uh, what works and what doesn't work for atrial fibrillation and other rhythm disturbances.